Welcome to CET Colors instructional web series on large format digital UV printers. Today we're going to show you how to properly install a fiber optic cable. Gather your materials. You will need a small flathead screwdriver, a long Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of clippers, and your new fiber optic cable. Power off the printer. Refer to our instructional video on powering off the printer. Start by opening the top cover, using your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws one by one. Also, remove the side panel, using your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the three top screws on the panel and place it aside. Then remove the end panel You will next need to open the chain in order to access the fiber optic cable. Refer to our instructional video on opening and closing the chain. Unplug the fiber optic cable from the headboard. Remove any zip ties that are obstructing removal of the fiber optic cable. Remove the cable organizer cover. Now you are ready to lift the fiber optic cable out from inside the open chain. Continue removing the fiber optic cable to the other side of the printer. Now, through the access of the side panel Unplug the fiber optic cable from the back of the computer. Once the fiber optic cable is unplugged from behind the computer, fish the end of the fiber optic cable through the hole in the end panel. Replace with the new fiber optic cable. Get an idea of how much length you will need starting at the headboard. Plug the fiber optic cable into the headboard. Then lay the fiber optic cable into the open chain removing any slack as you go along. Thread the end of the fiber optic cable through the end of the chain where it rolls over on itself. Insert the end of the fiber optic cable into the hole on the end panel and thread it through towards the computer. Layer the rest of the fiber optic cable into the cable organizer and replace the cover. Plug the fiber optic cable into the computer. Now we are ready to replace all the zip ties throughout the chain, making sure not to tie the zip ties too tight. Begin the process of closing up the chain. Refer to the instructional video on opening and closing the chain. Replace the top cover, screwing in the screws one by one with your Phillips head screwdriver. Once the chain is closed, we will want to power on the printer. Refer to our instructional video on powering on the printer. Confirm the red LED light is lit adjacent to the fiber optic cable on both the PCI card and the headboard. If the red LED light is lit, the fiber optic cable is installed properly. Go to the CET print controller and go to the testing and calibration page. Select nozzle test from the drop down menu and select your normal operating speed from the carriage speed drop down menu. Print a nozzle test to confirm the proper functioning of the printer with the newly installed fiber optic cable. If functioning properly, replace the side panel of the printer and end panel of the printer.
And that's how you install the fiber optic cable on a CET Color large format digital UV printer.